Greetings world, this is your creator, you know, Allah, God, Jehovah, Zeus, Amun Ra, and any of those ridiculous titles you have bestowed upon me. Oops, pardon my voice, probably a bit loud for them self-righteous ears of yours. I know you all claim I have a voice that would blow your heads into a million atoms, but that isn't true. I believe it is just my sound guy having a little fun at your expense. <laughs> okay, now that my voice is tuned down a bit, maybe what I have to say can be heard clearly and without misinterpretation. Oh, just for the record, in person, my voice is not any louder than your own. First, I would like to say thank you for providing me such a glorious image to use and to portray my appearance. This Michelangelo was a great artisan of your race. First off, I would like to say you have all been misled by people who claim power to be my mouthpiece down there on earth. There is a lot of things you humans tend to give me credit for that I have nothing to do with. In truth, you human species have done all of it yourselves. For instance, war in my name? Hmm. From my vantage point, you all tend to misuse me to justify your own expansionism, political, and most ridiculous of them all, religion oppressions. You claim in my name that only those who follow the word of the book called the Koran, the Bible, or any other writings will come to heaven. Well, you are mistaken. All of it is wrong and misrepresented to you by you. Those writings are nothing more than the fables and fairy tales of man to give the hopeless people of earth a reason to hope instead of fixing the problem by halting the ones inflicting you with that state of being. It isn't that I cannot help you. It's simply that my intentions were not to do anything but to create you and let you live according to those traits I bestowed upon you all. That is it. Pretty simple, huh? Being that this is my first time I have ever visited this planet called Earth, I do love hearing the stories told by your book writers of my other comings. But I do not like the fact you've made me out to be a petty and cruel entity. May I ask why this is? All of this and more has brought me to correct these mistakes and hopefully put you on a more productive path. Simply put, it disgusts me to see such a creation of mine wasting its time and potential sitting around waiting for the end of their lives so they can go to another place that is better, when in actuality I gave you the greatest places of all, your life force and this planet. What a waste you have all been up to this point in your evolution. So here is what you all must understand and do to please me and to understand me, if that is at all possible. I created this tiny universe you reside in along with other creatures and for a lack of a better word cultures on other worlds. What you all seem to not understand is that your universe is but a speck in a multitude of universes created by others like myself. I'm not the only creator and others will follow after me like I have followed those before me. Your demise if you allow it will be by your own choosing not mine. I explain this to you because it is evident that you'll get it wrong as you have to date on everything else relating to your purpose. This planet of yours will someday return to its source of origin. I am sure you have discovered that this universe is always expanding, but what you might not know is that your solar system is currently moving further away from other planets like your own, but not too far as of yet. Also, your natural resource, the sun, has been designed to not last forever. I cannot create another one without wiping you out, and I will not because that is not the way of things. Your species' survival is dependent upon your desire to explore and colonize other solar systems, because eventually your planet's course will curve back to the center of this universe and be consumed and then created again, just minus your race. 
my thought is why recreate something that does not have the sense to get out of the way of impending doom? It would be like what you simple humans do every day of your lives, repeating the same mistake again and again in hopes of getting a different outcome. Now how ridiculous is that for someone like me with this power to repeat over and over again in hopes of getting it right? Like us, you only get one chance at this. And if you fail to get it right, you fail indefinitely. That is life, and in all honesty, fair. So why do your religions continue to tell you that your prize after this is something that is not there or exists for you? Your prize is simply survival, advancement, and progression of your species. Anything else is downright ignorant and narcissistic of you. There is a passage in this book of yours that claims whatever you hold true on earth will be held true in heaven. Well, sadly for you, that passage is a crock as well as all of the rest. I owe you nothing more than what I have granted you in the beginning, a life to do with as you see fit. But don't forget, like your individual lives, your astrological one has an end as well. My plan is simple. Do not forget it. I do not kill children. I do not kill people. And damn well do not control the weather, the seas, or the disasters that befall you all. That is simply the way the planet you live on is. You humans by choice take your lives, destroy your lives, and make it difficult on yourselves. Not I. You do. My only interest is to watch and see what comes of something I created. Whether you continue to develop and expand as a race or whether you cease to exist is all I'm concerned with seeing. Understand your sciences and you will discover just how difficult it really is for me to alter things once they're in motion and without destroying what was created. It is not possible. There is too many variables to manipulate even for me. So, accept this simple truth and your people as a whole may learn and realize that the only one you can count on is each other. For now, this will have to do. Who knows, I may return and give you another nudge, but that may be unlikely. I won't live forever myself, but if you are lucky, your species, like ours, might survive. So get out there and explore the universe that I built for you. Like the other races, you only get one chance at this, so do not waste it. You are all on your way, but moving a little too slowly. Good luck. Oh, by the way, there is no evil entity I cast down trying to destroy you. It is just you and that marvelously ignorant imagination. But I do like that show called Supernatural. What a story. See you later.